Hi everyone, Dave here from Hattons. Really enjoyed the trip to Sam's Trains on Monday to reveal the exciting new Hornby 2019 range. We thought we'd do an extra video to include all the items we couldn't quite manage to get in on Monday, so here we go. Let's take a look at the Steam Locos. Hornby's Cross D9F was a really popular release when it first came out, so it's great to see it back. This one's a heavily weathered version, which is absolutely perfect for these heavy freight locomotives. Bit of an unusual design compared to the normal 9F, but still a really iconic locomotive. Keeping with the BR standard theme, the first design was actually the Britannia, which was BR's express passenger locomotive, and this is Anzac in Lake Crest livery. There's still two of these running today, if you do want to see one in real life, but unfortunately Anzac's no longer with us. Hornby's Unstreamlined Merchant Navy was a really popular release a year ago, so it's great to see this back in three new liveries, including Wartime Black for the first time, as these locos were originally built in the Second World War. It's also good to see two early crest liveries coming in there for BR modellers, including Elemin Lines, which still exists in the National Railway Museum at York. As well as the Merchant Navies, we have a return for Bullied West Country class, which is coming in in late press livery. These are Bullied Go Anywhere Pacific design compared to the express passenger duties that the Merchant Navies took charge of. Hornby's Lord Nelson class is just arriving in the shops and it's already getting some great reviews, so it's really good to see that two new releases will be coming in 2019 in Early Emblem and Lake Crest, both with the eight wheel bogey tender. Another fresh release is Hornby's J36 locomotive, really popular with Scottish modellers at the moment, but if you fancy something south of the border, why not try the railway operating division version? This operated in France and Belgium during World War I to help with the war effort, and is in a really striking khaki livery that stands out on any layout. There's also another version coming through in British Railways Black, but this time with the British Railways lettering. A Gresley Pacific has pride of place on a lot of people's layouts and it's great to see Hornby commemorate the whole history of the design in this year's catalogue. We talked about Bitten in its current condition in the previous video, but we go right back to the start of the story with Flying Scotsman in its almost original condition as an A1 rather than an A3 with its original tender in LNER Green. Further along the story, we have Mallard in a not too familiar livery of BR Blue as it carried in the 1950s alongside a number of the class. This isn't as a lot of people see Mallard, but it's still an important part of its history so it's nice to see it represented. Heading on to the modern image releases, Hornby 66 is back in the catalogue with nine new liveries showcasing the locos throughout the 20 year life so far. These are coming in at £67.50 each, so a great starter model. While we're on the theme of eye-catching new liveries, Hornby's Railroad 59 makes its first appearance in GB Rail Freight livery. Now this particular locomotive worked for 10 years in Germany, so it's back on UK shores and also back in the Hornby catalogue. Alongside this is Hornby 67, Featured in the previous video as part of the Bellman Pullman train pack, this is the second locomotive of the set. So if you want both locomotives to work as they do in real life, make sure you pick up both of these. No doubt a popular return to the catalogue this year is Hornby's Class 60 in its original rail freight construction livery. This was BR's last diesel design before privatisation in the 90s. And a lot of people have been asking for the triple grey livery here, so it's really good to see it back. It's time to take a look at the electric items of rolling stock. And starting off, we'll have a look at the Eurostar, one of the UK's most iconic trains made in the 90s to operate through the Channel Tunnel to Europe. This is in the bang up to date livery, and for £109 RRP for a train pack with the additional coaches available as well, it's a really good price. Hornby's made a few designs of pre-nationalisation Southern multiple units before and the two bills get back in the catalogue this year in its original livery of Southern Railways Green but the units are back in there for difference as well. Hornby's made the two bill and the two hull but they've managed to combine the pair into a two hill unit. One of these was converted in real life in the late 50s and although it's unusual to see two different vehicles together it does make for a good set. 
One of 2018's main releases for the modern image model was Hornby's Class 87 which drew some real critical acclaim when it came out and it's great to see two new versions in this year's catalogue. First we have 8702 in Caledonian sleeper livery. This veteran locomotive is still being used in real life for empty stock workings but sometimes it gets employed on the main duties to Scotland as well. Also one of these locos has got its rightful place in the National Railway Museum and the second model here is in that condition, you can see it there today. So we've taken a look at the locos, it's time to take a look at the rolling stock. First up, we have the latest release of Hornby's Pullman Bar Car as the new Century Bar. This model is exquisite, it's got working lights and it's decked out in the full Pullman Umber and Cream livery, so a real luxury addition to your layout. We featured Hornby's new non-corridor collets in the first video, but we've also got a return for the original collet model that came out a couple of years ago in chocolate and cream. Now these sold out really quickly the first time round and quite a few people missed out, so if you do want these, do make sure you get them. If you modelled the London Midland region in the early 1950s, then this is the year for you. Hornby's providing you with all their period free coaches in crimson and cream livery, including brakes and standards and firsts, you're also getting a return for the period 2 12 wheel dining car as well and back in the loco range we've got the Duchess of Montrose appearing too. So a full express rate loco coaches dining car for the early 1950s model. Parcels vehicles have a place on everyone's layout and Hornby's BR Mark 1 Gov in maroon livery is perfect not only as part of a parcels rate but can also be tacked onto a passenger service as well. We covered the release of the Northern Bell Pullman set in the first video, but for those of you who fancied a full rake, Hornby are making additional coaches available as well in a free pack, still featuring the popular livery in Pullman Umber and Cream. The Hitachi IEP 800 is really at the front of railway news at the moment, appearing in service all across the country for a lot of different operators, but the first test version was originally available from Hornby last year, and here's the coaches to go with it. What layout isn't complete without four-wheel goods wagons? They've got a place everywhere. There's thousands of them, different types, and it's good to see these still in Hornby's range. Improved now with the inclusion of NEM couplings and new wheel sets in a variety of different sizes and liveries. My personal favorite, Capri's Vaughan Bill version. Bit of a chocoholic. A lot of people have been asking for a reissue of Hornby's 21 ton box mineral wagon, so it's good to see this back in the catalogue in BR Grey. Not only on its own, but also as a free pack as well with individual running numbers, so you can get a rake together of these pretty easily. In the previous video, we discussed two brand new toolings for a London Midland Scottish and a London South Western Railway brake van. But it's also good to see Hornby's other brake vans returning to form. We have five new releases here, two Great Western Toads, two LNER Toads, and one more release of the standard Beata 20 ton brake. And last but not least, we have two more releases of the BR covered carriage truck used for a variety of different uses. One of these is quite interesting that it's got a graffiti liveried version. These are always pretty popular and unusual when they come in, so it's well worth a look. So we've taken a look at the locos, we've had a look at the rolling stock. It's time to have a look at the accessories because there's some really exciting stuff in here. Hornby's TTS sound decoders have taken the world by storm. There's a huge variety in the 2019 catalogue. We've got the Valenta Class 43 HST. For anyone who wants a shunter, we've got the Little Class 08. We've got the English Electric Class 50 with its 16 cylinder power unit. For the steam modellers, we've got the mighty BR Britannia. We've got the Heavy Freight LNER Q6, and we've got a mixed traffic B12 in there as well, complementing a lot of Hornby's new releases as well as some old favourites. As well, we have a new release of the Hornby TTS Sound Goods Van, which has been really popular in its first release. This brings it out in a different livery, so who knows, maybe you can have two on different parts of your layout. A final addition to Hornby's digital range this year is a six pin decoder. This completes the set for Hornby doing a four, six, eight and 21 pin releases. This will be used a lot in some of the DCC fitted locos this year, but it's also available separately if you have something else you'd like to put it in. Finally, an unexpected but welcome return to the catalogue this year is a lot of Hornby's accessories we haven't seen for a few years. 
We've got the range of scale people in a variety of poses and situations. We have the flock coming back, a variety of colours and sizes, but also the trees, the scale trees, which haven't been in the catalogue for around 10 years. So really fill in those gaps on your layout that haven't been able to for a while. So that about rounds it up for the Hornby 2019 catalogue. With more than 400 new releases, I'm really sure that there's something for everyone in there. So do take a look at the catalogue on the link below and let us know what interests you as well.